Good morning. Today, we've come on a random day trip to France. And when I say we, I'm here with Martin, who's Hello, driven us from the UK <laughs> yes. here to a park called Bagatelle. Bagatelle. Yeah, yeah. This is actually the oldest running amusement park in France. Ooh, there you go. In 1955. 1955, the same so, year as Disneyland, Disneyland in California, California, the original. Yeah. But so, uh, yeah, just to confirm, but uh, you do actually get your bags checked here at Bagatelle. Yeah, you actually you know? <laughs> get your bags checked at Bagatelle. That's the little joke that me and Martin have been having, haven't we? We've been saying, oh, I wonder if we're going to get our bag checked here at Bagatelle. But so just to confirm you do, it's located, what, have we drove about an hour, an hour have we? away from Calais. Um, and um, if, you, if you like me and you don't like the French toll roads and you want to avoid the stupid French toll road prices, all right? Because they are expensive, you can just avoid toll roads and it's only an added 15 minutes so yeah so it's it took just over an hour hasn't it 10 euros in toll roads if you just add 15 minutes onto your journey so that's probably worth it there you go it? park today yeah. is open until 5 30. it did open right at 10 30. we're here about half an hour after opening because uh, we had a bit of a delay on the euro tunnel but so yeah it's just a day trip this one we've come over from the uk uh yeah and just let you come over from for Hastings. the day we've just yeah. done a day trip from uh this is day trip if you live in Kent or in East Sussex, so, but, you know. uh, Yeah, but uh, yeah, best place to do your tickets, book them online, you can buy them here on the door as well, but as usual with parks, you're better off booking online. And I assume with these, we go straight through to the turnstiles, and uh, yeah, we've parked at a car park on the other side of the road, walked through that tunnel after having our bag checked at Bagatelle, and uh, yeah, here's the main entrance turnstiles just here, and you can see we've got a little uh, jester's hat there, which is the logo for the park as well. So here's a little look at the map for Bagatelle. As you can see, it's a reasonable sized park, really, this one. Quite a few different rides. We've got five different roller coasters to get on. Uh, quite a few of those are junior coasters, but there is also a, uh, a larger one at the back just there. There's a Rapids, which, to be honest, is one of the main reasons for us coming here, isn't it? Yeah, we actually, rapids. like, and, like, we looked at pictures of what the park's got, <laughs> and we saw that it's got a half of my Rapids, and we were like, Book it. We love a good half of the rapids, <laughs> don't we? Uh, there's a log flume up there, and also there's a couple of transport rides. There's a train and also a monorail as well. And who knows what else we're going to discover, really? It looks like there's a few yeah. flat rides and things. So, Well, this one is actually quite unique. Uh, a boomerang, a Vacoma boomerang, but the seats are switched the other way. I believe there's only about three or four in the world of its like type. That. So, yeah. I've got a question for you, Martin. Where's your high vis? Oh yeah, you need, you need well, to put it your eyes like on. on a school trip. Though, oh, it's, yeah. it's a side day today. Like I don't understand it. There's a lot of school trips here today. A lot of coaches talking to the monorail. There's the uh, the track for it. First impressions. It's actually really nicely presented. This park. It's all painted up quite nice. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Our first little junior coaster just over there. A standard little caterpillar. So I'm sure we'll go on that at some point. Toilets. It is. Oh, there we go. Toilets. Right. We're gonna have a wee, and then we'll make our way to the first ride. So first ride of the day then, we're in the queue for the Gaz Express roller coaster that actually opened in 1987 and the queue line's quite weird here because obviously we entered just over the bridge just there, we've walked down over, well down these steps and we're sort of waiting to go through that door just there and it looks like we've got a bit of cattle pen inside then maybe, are we going up the stairs maybe up there? I'm really not too sure where we're going but uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a, a busy day here today. I think we're going to have some long waiting lines. Like I say, it is a Saturday. But uh, yeah, like I say, only 1987 this one. It looks quite nicely themed and uh, manufactured by so Sorket, I think we pronounce it. Not, so Sorket, maybe? Is, it, is this one the Sorket? Yeah, Sorket made this it, it's one. It's a two Sorket. There's, there's a few, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of them oh, there. Right. Yeah. All right, because we've got Sorket. this one and we've got wooden box to ride. Yes, which I can't wait for. You might be thinking, what the hell has Martin just said? Wait until you see it later on. It's worth sticking about for. Uh, wooden box the ride that I can't remember the name of but uh, I look forward to getting over there wooden yeah, box the ride. you've seen bench at uh, Europa Park this is hashtag wooden box the ride we're building it up already wait till we get over there and see it you guys are going to love it but uh, yeah like, I really like all this it's quite nicely painted up I mean it looks really fresh this part there's the log flume just over there you've got the railway that runs underneath us and uh, yeah just over there you've got the uh, Zampirla air race Off we 
go. On the left, Del. Looks like an interesting layout here. That's it, check your plug socket, make sure it's pat tested, here we go. Uh -oh. Nice helix, helix. Oh my God, it gets a bit close. Water effect. Quite good on here. Better waterfall action. State of the art effects. Oh, fire! <laughs> That's a bit dangerous. We had a bit of fire there. Yeah, that was a bit dangerous. I like, touched the waterfall. I love it. That was alright, that was. 1987. I wonder if the fire's been there since then. There you go. The Gaz Express. Hang on, I just need a fart, Sean. Right? You, you're in the right place because yeah. here's the fart zone. Cool. There you go. Hang just, on. Just, <laughs> yeah, done. Cool. There you go, enter at your own risk. There you go. How was your ride then on the socket? It was good. It was all right. Yeah, yeah. Does it look like my hair has been plugged into the socket? To be honest, your hair's a lot shorter, isn't it? You've had it cut. Yeah, I've uh, had, had it cut. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was nice, like, a needed few Needed a effects. trim, needed a trim, but so did this bush around here, that needed a trim. Yeah, because it meant there was some fire that came out of like, this big well, we canister. It, the bush was in the way. Yeah, I mean, it looked quite way. good, that. I mean, I have to try and get a bit of an off-ride shot of it. Only, it only runs one train, but, uh, and like I said, we waited about 35, 40 minutes for that, so it is a busy part today. I don't think we're expecting it to be quite as busy as what it is, so we're gonna sort of try and get around as quick as we can. Heading right down to the end of like this midway area now. Uh, like I say, you've got a Zampilla air race there. There's lots of different shops and things along this side. And uh, yeah, down the end of it, we've got a little Ravishing spinning coaster. So we're going to head down there. And if you want some random barrels, you've got some random barrels there as well. But uh, yeah, not too bad. 1987. Looks really fresh, this part. Really nicely painted up. And even all these buildings down here, it looks like it's quite well Ooh, looked bars, after, really. Oh, it's the Dodgems, is it? Yeah, I didn't know there was a Dodgems here. Quite a few little flats and things to discover. But so uh, yeah, we're going down to Famous Jack now, as it's called. And it's actually got a bit of theme in this one. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a closer look. So here we are then in the queue line for Famous Jack. And I believe Martin's got a bit of a fascinating fact about this coaster and the park in general. Who it's, uh, uh, well, who else it what got, the own? <laughs> um, it got moved to here in 2015, and it used to be at Pleasurewood Hills. Back in the UK? Yeah, it used to be Pleasurewood Hills. So, Sean, you've actually had this credit already. I have you? had this yeah. credit already, and uh, like Martin said, not just the coaster, but the actual company that owned this park own Pleasurewood Hills as well. Yeah, and, and also Helen Dorm, where we're going in September. So they own a few parks so, around. So, yeah, really. so yeah, check out the vlog in September. We will be going to Helen Dorm along with a bunch of other smaller parks in the Netherlands. We are, and we're bringing the girls Netherlands. along, aren't we, Martin? Yeah, we are. uh, yeah we're bringing, bringing uh, the missus along. Yeah, Charlotte and Leah are coming along on that one. So it'd be really nice, look forward to it. But so uh, yeah, with this one, it's got like two big like towers at the side here that have got a bit of theme in. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. It's a shame there's not a bit more underneath it just here. It's like the theme the line and the front of it but uh, yeah it looks very generic sort of brown there but uh, at least it's got a different color scheme from looking on RCDB which we do like checking for our, our stats I mean RCDB isn't always right but 97% of the time the facts on there about opening dates and things it's a really good website to check out to find out about the rides especially when you're on the go it's a good website to use but uh, yeah it used to have like a different color scheme it's been painted up and uh, yeah I assume that was probably done in 2015 but uh, yeah let's get on famous Jack I mean, it's quite famous, this guy. There he is. That reminds me, I need to get Jack Daniels uh, from the oh, supermarket on the way back. Take him back to the UK, nice cheap booze. Yeah, so that's the, one, one of the reasons of coming over here, isn't it? You yeah, get, get all your beer and everything, get your cheap wines, and uh, take him back into the UK. Here we are then, on Famous Jack. Like I say, it's the standard layout. Revishan spinning coaster. I like this. 
Yeah, this is really a good, good system. Good. There you go. You know why, don't you? Yeah, bagatelle. bagatelle. Yeah. <laughs> He got it in before me then. Lovely bag. Here you are. If you want a round of tennis, or oh, what we got? I oh, know football, is it? Basketball. Every other sport than what I, I mentioned. We'll get to the middle of nowhere. How do we get so, to it? How do you get to it? Look That's where we're going tonight look after look park close. Oh, in the trees. Let's look at our next coaster. We've got a Ferris wheel over there. It's quite a big hangover. park. <laughs> I got a hangover. Yeah, it used to be from uh, Liseberg, that one. Oi. Famous Jack. Oh! Very famous. Hey. So we're going into these nice themed tunnels now. Look at these. Woo. Oh! Ready for that head chopper? Near miss there from the track. Oh! Are you ready for a spin? Here we go. Whoa! It's quite a good one. I love it. It's getting quite a good spin here. Oh my god. I love it. Good body spinning. Love it. Woo! Ready for that little camel hill? Here we go. Oh, ejector air time. That's it. I can see why Jack's famous now. That was a good spin. <laughs> to be honest, that's probably one of the better ones. I know they're a generic ride then, generic layout, but probably, oh my God, probably one of the better ones doing that. And quite a good spin. You enjoy that, Martin? Right, huh? Yeah, it was. I know the bog standard rides, but famous Jack. <laughs> Got a, bit, a little bit of theme in as well, theme station. So we've just come off Famous Jack, the Revishan Spinning Mouse, and uh, saw this here, it's like the entrance to a queue line, something about 1.45, I don't know if that's the, I think that's the height you need to be to go on this, and uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> Martin's down there having a little go on these little bikes, just parked up here, and uh, yeah, come on Martin, give us a spin. Hang on, what's wrong with it? What, what do you mean what's wrong with it? So they're called it's pedals. It's not a normal bike. What do you mean? <laughs> you have a go. They're called pedals. Let me give the camera to Martin and, uh, and I'll have a go. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my God. Have we go? Yeah, you see what I, you see what I mean? It goes up and down. <laughs> it, it bumps up and down. Oh. I'll come around that way, I'll come around to you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop it! <laughs> Here we go, he's got the hang of it now. That's it, you just gotta try and stop it now without falling off. It feels really weird, because if you watch like the chassis, it bounces up and down. Oh yeah, it's alright, it's definitely for adults. The sign said like what, over 1.4 metres, so we're alright. But uh, there you go. That's uh, the... Everyone's coming on now. That's it. It's going to get a queue. 90 minute wait, guys. 90 minute from this point. But uh, there you go. I quite enjoyed that. Oh. <laughs> Martin's bike rental. That's five euros, please. Thank you. Martin's bike rental. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I'll get out of the road. That's it, right, on to our next coaster, let's go. It's that big beast over there. <laughs> right, time for our next ride now, the third coaster for us to do at the park. The only coaster here with inversions, and uh, yeah, it's a Vacoma. I think, what they call it, Invertigo, I think is the model name for these ones. But uh, yeah, like we said, just when we was on Famous Jack, this used to be at Liseberg, and uh, it had a lot of problems there. There's a hangover. There's a hangover. But then again, a hangover can cause you lots of problems, so. Oh, there you go, that, that might be the issue. It could have been Liseberg first. For naming it Hangover. Don't but, have uh, too much booze while you're in France. There you go. <laughs> because you end up with a hangover. Yeah. Right, shall I pronounce the name of this? I don't even know. What is it? Tri triops, I think it's called, with like an exclamation mark in the middle. I think is that how we're saying it? Triops? I think it is. I know if there's any French people watching then be sure to comment below on the video because if you've watched Theme Park Worldwide for a while, you'll know that the pronunciation on this channel is absolutely awful. We've been to some great parks around the world, but some of the rides and parks we don't know how to pronounce. But uh, yeah, it moved here in 2012 
And yeah, it's got a different colour scheme to what it had when it was at Liseberg as well. And uh, yeah, like Martin said back at the start of the vlog, the seats are positioned very differently on this, making it quite a unique ride to go on, really, with this one. Warning for your safety, scarves, hat, veils, caps are not allowed on triops. Triops, there you go. But uh, yeah, let's go and have a ride and we'll uh, see you when we come off and uh, let you know our thoughts to this one. Smoothest for comas I've done. It, has, it, it is actually. It's all right, this. This is really nice. So the train actually goes through the lake just here. I love it. Like Martin just said, that's very F telling. There's a section yeah. in F telling where you got like the boats going round and, and it goes through right round the back near uh, Vogel Rock. But uh, yeah, anyway, I said to Martin when we was in the queue for that, I thought that it was going to be really painful. I thought we were on for a bit of a condor at, uh, at Wallaby. And to be honest, it was quite enjoyable, that was. We were rear facing uh, on for the first section on that one. We thought we'll go and think, oh, it might be bad. But uh, no, it actually rode quite well. I go as far to say as that was more comfortable um, than some of the boomerang models that I've done out there. The Invertigo, I don't see why Liseberg uh, took it out really. I mean, maybe it had a lot of technical problems at the time with it being like a newer model. I assume that's probably why it went. Because uh, the ride experience itself for an old ride, uh, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure from RCDB, it opened at Liseberg in 1997. I mean, it's quite an old coaster really. And uh, it ran quite well, I, I quite enjoyed it. Did you think it was all right, that? That was one of yeah. the smoother, that was one of the smoother, like a Vekomas, that was. Yeah, yeah and, and in Vertigo. Where are we going now? I don't oh. really know, to be honest. Like, that's what I like about this part, though. We don't really we know anything. We rapids, but we don't know where it is. I think it's Sean's down that way. Yeah, it's, it's in the back. <laughs> it's in my bag of towel. In your yeah. bag of towel. <laughs> where we're at, bag of towel. But uh, there's a pirate ship down there with all that rocks behind it. Obviously, you've got this lake with the train, but also there's like some flamingo swan boat things on we there. We need to have a nice girl go on these pink Yeah, swans. a nice like, ride on there for us. We need us. to have a go on these pink swans. Little dinghy slides. Like, it's like Thorpe Park, isn't it? Depth charge, just over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, it actually is depth charge as well. It's the same sort of style as that one. But, uh, yeah, we'll sort of have a walk round and, and sort of, yeah, go for it, really. Try and get a ride on these rapids somewhere down the back. But we've done three coasters now uh, in about an hour and a half, so not too bad. And there's only two junior coasters, including the highlight of this vlog, Wooden Box the Ride, still to come later on. I'm looking forward to it. What, what are you looking for? The entrance. How do the boats get up the... I think, do you have to carry them up? I hope not. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, there's no, like, belt in the middle. Yeah. That is really strange. I think, mate, there you are, we're going to find out now. Oh, you have to oh, carry yeah, him. You have to carry it. Oh my God, well, we're not going on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're sure the laziest people yeah. in the world. Yeah. We'll, we'll give that one a miss, I think. <laughs> now, we'll have a go after lunch. Yeah, we'll get right. some energy Let's, after let's lunch. go find these rapids. Hopefully, we don't have to carry our own rapid boats around. <laughs> So we're flying in to another Sean's Food Review. And here we are at 
Aero Gear. So we, we're going to go and do the rapids, but I think we walked down the wrong path, to be honest, in the wrong direction. Kind of ended up back near the start of the park where we were going to come and get some food. So we thought before we go and do the rapids, we'll get something to eat. And uh, yeah, I must say, probably not the best theme park food that I've had. But uh, as you know, I mean, I, I, I eat a lot of like chicken nuggets and hot dogs and all that kind of stuff. But I have been trying a few new bits lately as well, believe it or not. But uh, today I've had some chicken strips and uh, yeah, they taste very processed. I mean, I know it's theme park food, what can you expect with it? But they just don't taste that good at all, really, them ones, in my opinion. Not amazing, but... Mine was quite good value for money. I got a burger meal and it was 10 euros and I get... A bacon burger, although I get like the tiniest slice of bacon in the history of the world. Uh, chips, a bit, a drink, and also they give you a little ticket for some ice cream. Ooh, look at that, a little bit of so uh, ice cream as well. Yeah. For 10 euros, I think it's <laughs> four items. I think it's not too bad. I want to know like, how many years has that been used for? I know. For people claiming ice creams. I mean, look at that. It looks like a tag off like luggage or something, yeah. or of, like some merchandise from the shop. But uh, this cost, I mean, this wasn't a meal, this. I mean, I, I bought the Coke from somewhere else before we got here. But, uh, yeah, it was about, like, six euros, something like that. So, not too bad, but uh, not the nicest processed food I've had. I mean, it's, it's all the same sort of stuff at these theme parks, isn't it? But uh, there's some parks out there that do really nice quality theme park food. And I'm not saying there isn't here. There probably is lots of other restaurants. But because we're on quite a, a quick sort of thing today, a day trip over here, that we'll get something quite quick. And with the theme park being a little bit busier than we were expecting, to sort of get something quick to eat and then get back on those rides. But uh, yeah, overall, I'd probably give it a like a five out of 10 from me, but uh, Martin's probably got a better better review from his side. Like. Yeah, yeah, mine was not, not bad. Mine's a good uh, eight. Eight out of 10, that's really good. You've only got to look at like the price of food at Plopsaland. Plopsaland. Plopsaland, the food was good. Like I enjoyed my food there, but it was very expensive for what you get. But uh, the size of the yeah. Food. Not an amazing portion, but uh, yeah, there you go. But uh, anyway, we're going to head over to the rapids. Like I say, this is the ride, what me and Martin saw and thought we really want to come out to this park. So I can't wait to get over there and, uh, and check it out. We've 300 miles <laughs> for just for rapids. Half of my rapids. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, we'll see you over there. If we can make it over there anyway, like it's somewhere in that direction over there. But we'll have a stroll over and uh, try and find it. I love it. It's actually quite a picturesque park, especially around this area with all the planting around the sides and a bit of shrubbery here, hashtag Sean's Shrubs. And uh, just over there in the background, we've got a carousel, which I believe is new for 2018 uh, from what I've seen on the map. It's very nicely presented around here and we didn't really know what to expect in terms of the landscape into this park. And there's actually a lot of trees around and yeah, it looks really nice around here. We'll definitely have to do the train at some point. That is a must. Uh, to do this afternoon and I would have done the monorail but I, th oh, I think it's off today it was when we walked past earlier on uh, there was a chain across the entrance and that's the station to it there the big yellow building and yeah we haven't seen it yeah train, <laughs> Bye, haven't we? nobody going through it looks all closed up which is a shame but it's a reason to come back to this park in the future it's not something you come to every year Bagatelle unless you were local of course but uh, yeah, it's one that we'll definitely come back to, I'm sure, at some point in the future, wherever that may be. Only if they build a new coaster. Yeah, like, a new coaster, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never know, they might get a B&M or something, Martin. There, what you got? I can't bit. imagine it. <laughs> Vanilla ice uh, cream. Sorry, he's in my mouth full. Who, who'd have thought that Toverland would have built a B&M all them years ago? Exactly, People would have walked and, and, uh, and now we're going in September yeah. to ride Phoenix, which I can't wait for. I think, is this the way? Yeah, I think it, well, yeah, because that's the park perimeter there, isn't it? Yeah, we go underneath this way and then follow it round. But so uh, yeah, who'd have thought that Toverland, you know, it's not that old really, it only opened in the early 2000s. Look at the and on yeah, this the train. building that. Oh my god, look god. at this. That's Virgin Pendolino. Yeah. Oh. Virgin Pendolino banking, that is. It is, look at that I'm bank. Top speed. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I thought it was banking when we were in the queue for that first coaster earlier on, the Gaz Express. But uh, yeah, we'll make our way around this way. And a uh, big shout out to anybody called Gaz out there who might be watching this video. <laughs> we'll head around and uh, hopefully find these rapids. I've spoken up about them. I want to ride on them now. Just a quick follow on from what I was saying about the monorail. This has been freshly painted recently. As you can see down here, look how it's uh, all the old flaky paints come off underneath. But uh, yeah, and also here there's like a little works vehicle. You can see it just up there on the uh, on the track. But yeah, I'd say maybe it's just been painted within the past few days and they just don't want to ruin it yet because it might not be dry, maybe. Any speculation, but uh, yeah, it seems it could be that sort of reason. But uh, yeah, like I say, I do like a good monorail. I like a good transport ride, but we'll definitely do the train uh, later on. 
So after much anticipation, we've arrived at the back of the park just here, and welcome to Le Raffs, our next ride here at this park at Bagatelle. Can I check your bag, please, sir? Let's check yeah. your bag. Yeah. Thank you. Just open it up for me. Let's check your bags, all bags. Yeah, that's okay, fine. Yeah, you can go on the rapids. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. But so, yeah, bags have to be checked at Bagatelle, just to confirm. But <laughs> yeah, we're going to go and go on this. I opened in 2001, Hafama. And we've done a few of these, haven't we now? Like, these are good rapids, these are. Mm, like, when we first like. did one, we, we were un unsure like, on what to expect. And, and they're good rides, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, like, I do like A bit like different than Hafema Intamin rapids. rapids. To be fair, the weirdest rapids that we've been on. I don't know who makes them, but they're the ones where it is split into three and they sort of... The water just comes in like yeah, a tidal yeah, yeah, wave. Yeah, like, like right through the middle <laughs> sort of thing. This looks very tame around this section, but from what we've seen online, there's some sort of whirlpool section in here somewhere. Maybe it's around the back just there. Not loads of theming around here, but it is a bit barren in places, but it doesn't look too bad. There's quite a few trees and stuff about. You know, it looks all right. And it's got a themed trough as well, which I like. Uh, obviously, a lot of these rapids these days, you don't have a theme trough. So, yeah, that looks quite good. But uh, quite a few in a boat on this one, on this half of my rapid. So, yeah, we'll go and get in the queue. I don't think there's too many people waiting from what I can see up there. Maybe three or four boats worth. So, don't think we'll be waiting too long for this one. So, here we are then on the rapids. I like how we've got some uh, little themed seats here as well with the B on there for Bagatelle. And, uh, yeah, there's no operator on this one. There's actually only one member of staff. member of staff loaded you on, which is a bit worrying, but... The thing is, though, with this, it's not got a turntable, I suppose, has it? Oh, here we go. See what I mean with these boats? They bend if you've never seen these before. But uh, there we go. The queue's got a bit bigger now. We only waited five minutes tops, though, there. And that was from about down that way. So if you do come to this park, don't be put off if you see a queue like that, because it probably is only about 10, 15 minutes. Plenty of boats in action. We've got some female. 300 miles for this one. Oh, well, I haven't seen it yet. Where is it? Hey, look at this. Yes, big oh, wow. It looks bigger than River Quest, actually, at Fantasyland. Yeah, oh, and we're going all the way around here a couple of times, and then we're going down that gap down the middle. Here we go. This is what we came here for, Martin. How do you feel? 300 miles for this well. <laughs> a 600 mile round trip. <laughs> Oh, off they go. I do like it though, but uh, no. oh, 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 yeah, we've got to keep it going all the way around. That's where we're going in what about 20 seconds' time? Oh, it looks good down there. Are we going to get wet though? I just don't feel like we're going to get soaked on this rapids. Well, I do like it. We think there's some sort of airport over there as well, from what we can see. There's an airport right next door to the park. Here we go, this is it. Should we get it going? Three, oh. two, one. Oh! Oh, no, it's me. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good. That, that was it. The, 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 the mega wave there. The KFC mega wave, but we can't talk about that. It's a sore subject. But uh, oh, there we go. Not too bad. Oh, we got a bit of uh, got a few waterfalls down this way. There we go. Yeah, don't worry. You are allowed to film on this rapids. It is allowed. But uh, <laughs> hey, the waterfall. The water and that's it, pretty much. Back round to the station. I mean, it's a short ride. Well, the Whirlpool makes it. That is the highlight of the ride. And what I really like with the Whirlpool as well is that you can't really see it that much from up in the queue line. You can see like the top of it, but you can't see uh, like the main event, so to speak. So it's a bit of a surprise if you don't know it's coming. Obviously, if you've watched this vlog, then it's not going to be a surprise when you come here to bag a towel and have your bag checked. But uh, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. Very enjoyable. Some good bits of theming. And I like how it's a theme trough around the side. And it looks nicely presented, that one as well, I think. Was it worth driving 300 miles for? Probably not. No, but <laughs> to see the park in general, I'm enjoying it so far. I am, I'm we enjoying had a good it. Day. We had a good laugh. I mean, the highlight for me so far still got to be them bikes, though. We've had a good, romantic, <laughs> mad day. A man day at Bagatelle. And uh, yeah, we've got some more water rides to do. There's a log flume and there's some sort of other boat ride. We don't know if it's another little log flume or something up at the back. So we'll go and check that out at some point this afternoon. I can't say I've ever been on a park railway that's got a tilted track. So here we are, sponsored by Virgin Pendolino on the park train. We timed it quite well. We just made our way down from Lee Raft and got
got on the train just now. I don't know if he's really picking up on the camera just how wonky it actually is. Hello! Hello. What the hell is she wearing? We encountered some people like that earlier on in the queue yeah. for a famous Jack, and I it seems like they're selling things. I think they were selling things for a charity, but obviously because it's in French, we can't understand what charity they're selling. We're not too for. sure. They got like, the hula bands on and things. Yeah, they were selling sweets and pens and stuff. All sorts of uh, what is it? yeah, illusion mystery. It does look like it's worth seeing. If we've got time, I think it'd definitely be worth having a go at that one and, and seeing it. What's that over the road? Laser quirks. Oh, there's a main road there. There you go. Literally the park perimeter this is built next to. Yeah, like some sort of laser game. Oh, it's one of those that uses like the... Um what do you call that? Like, it's actually got that. Oh, instead of paintball. Yeah, paintball, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, so like, it's like, like an outdoor course. laser. Yeah, an outdoor laser quest, yeah. Oh, we're going into a tunnel now. Yeah, we tied it quite well. We came off the rapids. They were really good. I did enjoy them. It was worth doing it for that whirlpool. Into the tunnel, what's going to be on the other side? Looks like it's got quite a good layout, this one, though. Spooky. Oh, oh. oh, I like how there's a light on the front of the train as well. Here we are, we've got a bit of uh, flamingo interaction. Really nice how the train passes over the water just here. And you got some like bumper boats on this side. They are a roller coaster tycoon classic, they are. I used to love putting in a good bumper boats in my parks. You could probably do a fairly good recreation of this park on RCT. Actually. You could, yeah, there's a lot of you sort could. of RCT rising. It's, it's a bit easier to do a, a recreation of this one. Yeah, it's rare that I do recreations of, of parks, really, but this this one would be, like it you say, quite, quite an easy picturesque. One. It's a bit more picturesque than I was expecting it to be. It's not as barren as what I was expecting this park to be. There's a lot more trees about, yeah. planting, It's time for your next lesson, though, Martin. Ne next lesson. The school oh, bell yeah. is going off. School bell, yeah. <laughs> no, it's break time, isn't it? Break, oh, is it break time? Yeah, recess, break time, recess, though, yeah. let's go. But, uh, yeah, I agree with what Martin, oh, local technique in there. Wow, I wonder what's in that. But uh, yeah, like Martin said, quite picturesque. A lot of trees around. It's nice, I like it. The rapids was a bit barren in places. A few more trees and maybe some music around that would have been nice. But uh, I think we're getting off at the next station. We're going to have a little look around and see what attractions we've got up at uh, this end of the park. Really realistic animatronic just on this side. Really nice movement. I mean, Disney. Should be ashamed of their animatronics. Look at that, brilliant. So just had a nice uh, ride round on the train. Got off at this stop. Where and, to, uh, sir? Where to? Where Can you to? take me to the random other boat ride that we don't quite know what it is, please? <laughs> of course. Right away. All wooden uh, box the ride. <laughs> five euros. Five euros. Yeah, five that's euros. I'll take that. Five euros. Five euros. No problem. I might get an Uber next time, though. Feel free to leave a tip. <laughs> the, the service hasn't been very good. I'm going to get an Uber if that's all right. You are in my green puzzle. My <laughs> green puzzle is back. There we go. Here it is. Well, it's quite a long layout, this. Oh, there we go. Is that wooden box the ride? It looks like wooden I think box it is. the ride. Is that there? Through the trees, emerging through the trees. The other reason why we came here for wooden box ride. Yeah, actually, is there? We're not even joking, are we? That's the funny thing about this. Like, we love discovering new parks, and I love sharing them with you guys here on Theme Park Worldwide. But it's the rapids and wooden box the ride that have really drawn us to this park. And uh, yeah, this is quite a long layout actually on this vintage cars. I used to love the ones at Alton Towers, you know, like they used to be really nice. Where uh, Cuckoo Cars Driving School is now. You used to have vintage cars and you used to go in the. Uh... Oh, there we are. We've got a man with a tray there. Hello! Hello. Bonjour! Hello, back hey. to <laughs> Martin, I don't want to upset you or anything, but I can't see much action at Wooden Box. The oh no, there's people in the station, it's alright. Yeah, okay. It's just very quiet. I was going to say, I can't see a lot of action then, but we're alright. It's quite a long layout, this. It needs a bit more theming around, maybe, this one. This has got some landscaping around it. I mean, this section's got like a little pond and things. She's calling up for a taxi, but obviously I've got the taxi here. There we go. It looks like we're supposed to have a little waterfall in there, but it's SPNO at the moment. <laughs> Just there That's in the middle. Insane, yeah. We're supposed to have a little water fountain, aren't we? I would say, though, this park is very well maintained. It looks really nice. There's not like loads of 
peeling paint or anything. Even like that restaurant, it might look a bit bland from the outside, but at We've least it's painted We've already seen one hedge trimmer though, haven't we? Yeah, like, you know. Even though you thought you was an animatronic. What? You, that, you, that you was thought you was an animatronic. It was an animatronic, you're trying to tell me. It, it wasn't. A little air time, huh? That <laughs> wasn't an animatronic. There it is, what? Wonderbox the ride. There it is. Yes. Well, that's what we've been waiting for. There we go. Nice you ride on the vintage cars. So here it is, the moment that you've all been waiting for, Wooden Box, the ride, or its official name, pronounced by Martin as... La Spiral des Dunes. There you go. Spiral of the sand, sand dunes. dunes. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. It looks very quiet around here. You've got some picnic benches there as well. And this is another socket, this one. Got a couple of sockets on this park, so make sure you plug it in right. And uh, yeah, this opened in 1996. I'm sorry, these jokes will stop. Nearly oh, as bad as Alex. Is nobody it quiet? Likes. And here we go. Oh, God, this man's running for the ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's off. He's off. Where do we go? Left, let's see, I think. That's it. I don't know. It's a socket, and it's a nice, quiet socket. There we go. How many plugs are you putting into this socket? Four? Six? It's, it's just a two pin plug. It's a two pin one. extension lead, yeah, okay. Oh, well, right, let's so go. You bring your extension lead when you come for us. Yes, bring it. Let's go. It, it would have boxed the ride. And there they go, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's themed to a wooden box. It's crazy. I love it. So we're going to sit in this wooden box. There you go. Oh, the alarm's going off. There we are. Off we go. The alarm sounds on Wooden Box the Ride. Here at Bagatelle. It's a two lap special this one as well from what we've just seen. It passes through that station. And we got another go round on the front row. And off we go. Through the trees. Whee! Whoa, it makes a rattle, but it's actually quite smooth. Oh, so it's got some kicker wheels there to slow us down, it seems. Straight. Oh, station fly through. I really don't get what the themes of this ride is, just wooden box the ride. That's what we're going to call it. To get that hashtag trending, there's the little vintage cars that we just went on. Where we got our first glimpse of this coaster. Whee! Woo! Oh, it's going to get busy now. Some big crowds. Yeah, where are the sand dunes? Yeah. yeah. It makes a really bad rattle that ride when it goes round, but it's actually quite smooth. Like it's quite enjoyable. That obviously you're not actually sitting in a wooden box. It is a proper fiberglass. Oh, there we go. No messing. Yeah, it is a proper thing. But uh, yeah, that's it. Wooden box. And there it is. Suck it. Love it. The little front front nose car. Oh, thank you very much. Mercy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was very British, wasn't it? It was. Very British. <laughs> Not Mercy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's merci. go and get a nice pot of tea. Thank you very much. Lovely. So if you love a good log flume, get yourself out here to bag a towel because there's not just one, but there's two log flumes. I mean, this is like a little mini one. I'm pretty sure it's just a, a one drop special, is it this? You maybe go around the back there, up a lift hill, down here and back to the station. But uh, yeah, and then you've got the big one, which we think is two drops, but obviously we've not been on that yet. But uh, yeah, Alton Towers have took their log flume out for Wicker Man. Thought Parks is SBNO at the moment. So yeah, if you want a log flume, or you ain't two, get yourself out here to bag a towel and come and check it out. Two log flumes, it's good. But uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Where are we going it. now? Sure. Well, what are we going on? Are we going yeah, on? Like, why not? Like, yeah, why not? Let's okay, do it. Go yeah, I mean, it's a short queue, lot. It's pretty much walk on. Why not? Oh, it, oh yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go and have a go on it. Why not? So here we go. If you like a uh, log flume with plenty of padding, come and check this out. Look at this. You could sleep on that. Hey, I actually go to sleep on it. You got all this padding here. From looking at this, I really feel like on the drop, I'm going to get lunged forward into this. It's like it's designed for 
impact. It's like boxing the ride, this is. <laughs> well, so you got this little section here, very heavily <laughs> heavily themed around here. <laughs> no, there's not a lot to see. That's actually the uh, perimeter of the park. There's people walking the dogs over there. And uh, that, there you can see the basketball court. Ah, there you go. That's how you get to it, Sean. Down walking down that way. So if you want a game of basketball after your day at Bagatelle, you know where to go. It's like a little shed over there as well, look. A little random gardener's shed. Must be like some sort of country park just around here, like loads of little walks and things. Oh, Lost Patrillos. Oh yeah, Lost Patrillos over there, Port of Ventura Classic. Bunny rabbit. The bunny rabbit rides, bunny yeah, rabbit. yeah. So, and then we're gonna make our way up into that big shed up there. That's, oh, 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 we're struggling. Oh. oh. Yeah, they're a bit tight, these boats. Oh. I think we're a bit big for this as log flume. So do I, yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of... It's struggling to get round them. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Maybe it's not made for people of all. I mean, it is pretty much all kids on this ride. Like, it is crazy. I don't know if it's designed for adults, but we're about to find out how wet we're going to get. I'm, free, I'm prepared. It actually looks like a soaker, and it's got, like, a really small drop. Yeah. Look at it. <laughs> and I, I, like I said, I'm preparing to be lunged forward into the boxing ring just here. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! oh, 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 oh me and Martin in the back here. <laughs> How romantic. This is nice. Oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, Are we going to get wet? Oh! Oh, oh my feet. Oh! I'm not. It's my shoe has got soaked. Oh my god. Woo! Oh. Hello. Yeah. Oh, my shoe is soaked. Like. I'm dripping down there. Uh, oh, 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 my God! <laughs> I thought we were going to tip over. Oh, my God! <laughs> you know I mean? Oh, my God! Stop it! God! <laughs> Jesus up. Christ. Honestly, if you lean just a little bit... I mean, yeah, it's we're not even leaning and it's going... <laughs> we're not even... <laughs> oh, there it is! Oh, my God! <laughs> and lean! And lean! You can't move on this thing oh my god you've really got to try and balance yourself out in the in the middle oh my god that's it wwe the ride I do. there we go i do like these bloody rabbit rides come on give us a good name hey. oh that was really good that one hey like that off you go see you around the ride oh you bloody, 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 bloody rabbit ride yeah we're not at pop zone now here comes mine. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. There he is. Hey! He's all the way over that side. Yeah, there's not really any theming around this one. But still, it's a ride to get on. We're actually doing a lot more than what we expected now. When we first got here, we did like the rookie error of starting right with a, a coaster right near the entrance to the park, which is obviously what a lot of people do when you go to amusement parks. You are better really going to the back and working your way forward to avoid those queues. Here he is. Reema. Yeah. Reema. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Are you enjoying it? I love these. <laughs> We're such big kids, aren't we? Yeah, it's quite a short layout, this one. It's not the longest, and like I said, there's not really any theming around. But it's got to be done. We do like these ones. Like I say, Lost the Trillos at Port Aventura. That's a good one. Get some good views. Oh, a nice close-up of Martin now. Oh, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> there's no music on this one. You get the occasional nay, though. What's that? You can, make your you, can. you get the occasional nay. Nay. That's it. You're doing a good job. <laughs> I love it. So earlier on we mentioned that there was a big show at this park and uh, yeah we've actually managed to catch it. It's at three o'clock today so we're heading inside this big uh, theatre just here. Don't think I'll be able to film this. In fact, I've just seen the sign down there. It does say cameras there with a big cross through it. But it's like an illusion show. And uh, yeah, it's inside this big tent, so we'll talk about it when we come out. I'm glad I we've managed like to see this. Shows, like, yeah, we yeah. love shows yeah, in general, don't good. we? But uh, yeah, we won't be able to film the show, but we'll uh, see you when we come out. After a 
full 30 minute production, we've just come out of the theatre and watched Illusion Mystery. And like me and Martin were saying when we were just sat in there waiting for the show, we thought maybe this could be the highlight of the park. We've both just said it walking out. That is the highlight of Bagatelle. That was a very nice production. Like I say, 30 minutes, lots of action-packed illusions. With that sort of show, uh, a lot of places you go to, whether it's theme parks or just theatres in general, uh, there might be a lot of talking and things in between the illusions. Too much talking, not enough action. With that, there was about six or seven big illusions in that. Most of them were things that we know how they're done or you've seen before. And they were old sort of classic illusions, uh, like, like hide the woman in the box and oh, she's disappeared and all that kind of stuff. The big saw comes in and uh, putting like swords through boxes, all that kind of stuff. But it was actually really nicely presented. Classic illusions with some really good lighting, very atmospheric music. There was no like themed story or anything, but it was a really nice overall production that I very much enjoyed. And for me, the thing what stood out from that, you've probably all seen it before, whether in person, on YouTube, or just at, at other park shows in general, where they'll like levitate a member of the audience up. They'll like light them down and levitate them. Whereas with that, it was actually done really close to the crowd. In fact, it was done on a table, literally right in front of some people. And then the table spun round as well, uh, which really added to it. I thought it was really good. It got me excited, that show. It's the highlight of Bagatelle for me. I very much enjoyed that. I think Martin thought the same. I, I really enjoyed that. Like Sean said, it, it is the highlight of the park, definitely, that magic show. I like a good magic show, and it was the classic magic tricks, as Sean said. It weren't your bulk standard Harry Turnstiles classics. Yeah, you know? no card tricks. I don't like card tricks. They don't no, do, I don't. They don't do no. anything for me. Harry, I don't like card tricks. Oh, yeah, I love sorry, Harry, mate. but I don't I like Harry. card tricks. Uh, I love your hair, mate. How can you not love but Harry? But your card tricks, uh, mate, you, you need to get a box with some swords for it. Yeah, That's it, what you need to do. It was very good, <laughs> wasn't it? I mean, like, um, I do like my magic shows, and my best ones that I've seen is um, the one at Futuroscope. I've um, not seen that. I need yeah. to Go. Yep, um, and also um, if you're ever going to PA, if you go into the town of Sulu, you got to go to House of Illusions. Yes, and that's a good that's magic a really show. Really good magic show that one. Yeah, like yep. variety acts. Should we go to the stuff. looping shop? Yeah, why not? We're gonna have a look round. But uh, it was great that was. If you enjoyed the show that much, you can even buy a souvenir magic box. They did get a couple of children out of the audience and they gave them some good prizes as well. So if you do come here uh, with your kids and want to get a free magic box or a balloon or a teddy bear, then uh, get them up on the show because they get some or prizes. Or if you don't want to go to Orton Towers, then you can always go on SW1. Oh, there we go. Six over hey, here. I love it. There you go. All the secret weapons over there here at Bagatelle. SW3 Nemesis, one and two that weren't built. I love it, there you go. There you go. But uh, yeah, let's have a look inside the shop, see if there's any merchandise in here, or I'm sure there'll be like a main gift shop right near the entrance with maybe a mug, might be some muggage. It's well themed around here though, all based on aeroplanes, this area. And uh, here you are, here's your magic kit. But yeah, that was really good, the highlight of the park. And I would say with Bagatelle, it's exceeded expectations for me. It's a good park. There's no massive standout attraction for me, what really makes me think, ooh, I need to go there for that. But as a package with everything what they've got, it's a very enjoyable park. There's five coasters, still got the one to do, but it's only a little uh, SBF caterpillar coaster, I think that is, to do. But uh, yeah, like it's a really nice, enjoyable park, and it's a full day park, in my opinion, as well. Especially with the show, there's quite a lot to see here. And uh, yeah, a few different flat rides around as well. But uh, I think next we'll probably go and do that log flume, to be honest, and maybe the little junior coaster just here, what I need to do as well. So here we go, Martin. I just want to confirm your riding position for on this log flume. So that's a strictly prohibited position on the left, and that's a good position on the right. So I want to see you sitting down nicely there, both hands on the handlebar at all times. That's a, a good position to ride on this log flume. You do not want to brace yourself for an yeah. impact or on an aeroplane. Because there's no Basically. cushioning on this one. That's the other log flume. You want the cushion in. You want WWE. It's the other one. <laughs> this one here. You get no cushioning. Cushion. Let's go. We're waiting about 10 minutes for this one. Let's go. It's a good local technique, this one. I tell you, opening that gate. Really good local technique. <laughs> here we go. What's that? The boat looks quite dry. Yeah, right. It doesn't look like we're going to get very wet. No, well, this is a classic. It's a Ravishan, this, believe it or not. I didn't realise. It's a Ravishan uh, log flume built in the 70s, this one. So it's, a, it's an old ride, but it's a two-drop special. And it looks like we've got a bit of a tunnel, what we're going up into here. Got a bit of speed to it, though. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh, shame about the uh, interior. Mini drop. Oh. 
A bit of a near miss there with the monorail. Like we mentioned earlier on, the monorail sadly out of action today. Had to come back for that at another point. It's definitely a park I'll come back to in a few years' time. This kind of reminds me of the old uh, flume from Alton Tower. It's just sort of travelling through the trees around here. Not really loads going on. again. Oh, there we go. Flying into Burke Airport. To where? Burke Airfield. Burke. Burke. Yeah. Burke. <laughs> Not far away. <laughs> oh no, we don't talk about that place. There we <laughs> go. Not, that was your yeah, favourite. I, <laughs> I do love it. We stayed in a couple of campsites before in the Netherlands that were really nice. Sean's favourite place. It's got some good speed to it though, this. Who's stepping? Yeah, it's got a good speed to it. I'll let it off. It was built in the 70s there, so it's not like those ones from Mac Rides that a lot of them were built in like the 80s. You know, this is old. Ravishing. Oh! Look at this! My god. Let's not look at our first ride. He's got a walk on queue now. Finale drop. How oh, wet are we gonna get? Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> I did only I got a little spot and that's I it. A sprinkle. A, a little sprinkle. sprinkle, a little Martin sprinkle. But it was rough, the drop was. It was a rough <laughs> drop. <laughs> I lunged it was forward. Me to death, right? We need some more padding on this one, I tell you. Oh, and there we go, end of the ride. It's a short one, but it goes around that circuit fast. Boom! There we go. So we just come off the log flume there. Quite a short ride, as I mentioned, on the ride there. But uh, yeah, that drop was quite forceful, actually. It was quite fast around the layout. I'd say we was probably only on that log flume for maybe two and a half minutes tops. It was a, quite a short ride. But uh, nevertheless, we've got a major ride to end on now in terms of the coaster credits. Like I said at the start of the vlog, there's five thrilling coaster credits here. And this is it, the finale one that I need to get. And the uh, SBF Caterpillar Coaster. Here it is, and it opened here in uh, 2015. But yeah, like these used to be really old rides, didn't they? And then SBF have sort of come in and, and made their own ones and things. And uh, yeah, it looks really quite fresh, this, with the structure and things. Sean's been raving about this one all week. Yeah, yeah. He, he, He's been out with his mates in California. <laughs> California, Ohio. 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 None of that. Get the, Ohio. Get the states right, come yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> Ohio. Have you ever tried to play the states game and naming all 50 states? I've not. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll have to play it. But yeah, uh, well, but yeah I've been I just out in Ohio. to use my change up on this slush puppy. 320 for a slush, expensive. Nice and humid today. But uh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's got his slush. Yeah, it's quite warm. But uh, I'm going on and get the credit. Is, is Martin having a ride on this one? Are you having a go or not? I'm going to finish my slush. I'll let you slush. get the credit. You're not having the credit. Oh, I'll go and get the cred. And uh, yeah, coaster number five got here one at, of these uh, at Park Bagatelle. There we go, Flamingo Park. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, that one. Hey! Wacky worm. Off we go. There's Martin. There he is. He's sitting there enjoying his slush. <laughs> oh, he's enjoying it. There you are. Look at him, sucking on his slush. Hey! Martin! Woo! <laughs> I can't believe he didn't want the credit. Shocking. Hey! Get yourself on here! Yeah! Whoa. That's it, second lap. Two lap special, squeaky squeaky. Silver Wings, the Zamperla Air Race, and believe it or not, I didn't even realise this until he said, it was Martin's first ever time 
doing as I'm feeling about race. I can't believe it. How have it you was, not done one before? It was, it was all right. I quite like those, yeah. Better than the Gerslauer Skyflies, would you uh, say? Or? Yeah, I would, purely because you don't have to make it go upside there's down. There's no effort, Whereas is with there? Me, yeah, there's no effort. But there is effort to actually lift up your bars at the end. I tell you what, you get your workout on them, I tell you, <laughs> then you push it up at the end. But uh, newer model, that it's one. 14. 14 inversions yeah, on that. 14 yeah, inversions. Same as Spider. Yeah, no no um, seat belts on that one. It was literally just a restraint only. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. Literally, I think we're going to do the Dodgems here now. And then we'll just do a few more re rides. There's about an hour or so left of the day. Do a few more re rides. We'll do the Rapids again. We'll do the Boomerang again. And uh, yeah, we'll see at the end, really, when we have a look around the gift shop, see what merchandise there is, and uh, summarise our day trip here to France for Bagatelle. And in my opinion, it's certainly been worth coming over here for a day, and it's a, a nice, easy, and quite cheap day trip to do, really, from the UK. I think there's too much of a traffic jam for the uh, public cars. There is a traffic jam, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, a couple of cycles, you reckon? Oh, no, actually, they're not called traffic jam, it's called auto scooters. Oh, <laughs> we're wrong. It's a traffic jam up there. Yeah, it's a traffic jam up there. I don't know, auto scooters. I don't know, whatever it is, we're going on. <laughs> Bit of a rough dodge is this one. track or anything on this one. Go whichever way you want, attack from any angle. I love it. Proper bumper cars. Now I tell you what, I've done a lot of dodgems out there at theme parks, but that wins the award for most brutal dodgems, bumper cars, whatever you want to call them, I've ever done at a theme park. That was crazy. Park. Yeah, they're more of an amusement park. Yeah, they park, are, right, really. Aren't they, really? Well, that was crazy, that was, wasn't it? They, they were really, really light, light cars. Yeah. Almost <laughs> as if you could, like, lift them up yourself, to be fair. I've never known Because of any like tiny it. little bump, but it was making the car go boom, yeah. way up in the air. But what was it making it do again, Martin? Boom! Yeah, it was boom! But honestly, like, there was like a little kid on there and I hit him and he went flying like down the other side. It's crazy that thing, honestly. It's a really intense dodging car. Like I say, no rules, no one way around the track, nothing like that. Go which way you want. Hit them head first if you want to. No rules on them dodgems. But uh, after that, we thought we'll come for a bit of a relaxing ride. And I'm glad we managed to get this in. We're actually on the uh, pink flamingos, uh, which we saw earlier on from the train and thought it looked really nice. But uh, yeah, here we are on it. It looks lovely, this area. Can't help but feel that a coaster would be nice running around here though. Can you imagine like a, just something maybe like a Nubis at Plopsaland just sort of running in and having like a helix or just like an overbank over the water just here. But actually this is quite easy to pedal I think. It's quite a nice easy, easy ride. Some it of these normally. It makes a change for you to hard. actually do some pedaling, yeah. sure. Usually you just leave it down to me. Go on, why aren't you pedaling? What? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we like these. Nice little attraction. Whether it's the swan boats or flamingos. Whatever they are. Oh, a bit of interaction. It's a very pretty park, this. Lots of trees, lots of shrubbery. Oh, here comes the train. Here we go. go. Fast. Go. Come on, I want that interaction. Yeah. Here yes. comes the train. Oh, here comes it's the all right. Train. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, faster, faster. Oh, here we go. We're going to get the interaction now. And you got the bumper boats on the other side just there as well. Oh, this is nice. I really like this park a lot. A major Ooh. ride wouldn't go amiss though. One big there major coaster. Lots of interaction. Theme Park Worldwide on, on YouTube. YouTube. Oh! <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Bienvenue. Oh, a lot of them are facing wet. the other way. You just got to be wet on that ride. When what, you on, the, get back, on huh? the bumper boats? Yeah. Well, there you go. Got to be wet. Pink flamingos. A bag of towel. Check your bags, please. Thank you. We've got some sort of weird water effect just here. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm about to crash. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we are. We had a bit wet. Hey, yeah, it's some sort of weird. What is it like a hose pipe spraying out the tree? <laughs> How strange is that? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got a branch in the boat now. Forward. Otherwise, we're going to get flooded. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> 
You must escape. The truth. That's it. You having a nice relax there, are you? Yeah. So I was on that side. You got you a little pirate ship. You for a change, sure. Oh, a little pirate ship, Ferris wheel. That looks like a really old Ferris wheel, actually, that one. Look at the design of it. It looks quite nice. And there you go. That's our ride. Still haven't, been on that. We still haven't been on that. We still haven't been on that. You know what, Martin? It's a two-day two park. park. Sure. Two-day park. Honestly, though, like if it was busy, we'd have really struggled to get everything in. At first, when we went on the little uh, Gaz Express, we thought we were going to struggle, but uh, we've gone round quite quick. We haven't really took our time with it. We've soon sort of gone round. It's a good job, really, else we would have missed out on some of the bigger stuff. It's been really nice. Really good day. Okay, for this one, then I want you to comment down below on this video the English translation to the name of this ride. It's a bit of a difficult one. I'll show you it in French now, and then you've got to comment below the English. Here we go. So in French, it's Le Bag Pearl. That's Le Bag Pearl. Comment down below what you think the English is. I think it's quite a hard one to work out, don't you? Yeah. But uh, there you go. Le Bag, Le Bag Pearl. Le Bag Pearl at Bagatal. <laughs> and it's got some mist effects, and we're going on. He looks a bit dodgy up there, though, doesn't he? Dodgy. Off we go, on the bag pearl, a bag of town. A bag of town. There you are. It's a bags on pirate ship this one, bags can come on. I like it, they're a really relaxed park actually here, it's got a very chilled feel to it. Staff all look quite happy, staff have been quite friendly haven't they really on the, on the rides and stuff, just in general, had no problems, been really nice. Enjoyable pirate ship. Oh, here we go, it's getting going now. Whee! Woo! There we go. Give, give us a scream, everyone. Three, two, one. Oh, that was very good, was it? Whee! So we just found out that the rides are actually open until six o'clock this evening. So we've got a bonus hour, which I'm well, really pleased question. about. Go what on. time is our train back to the UK? That's the big question. Not until late, is it? Like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock? I know. We've got to stop and get some supplies though, haven't we? For, yeah, uh, we do. Some to be fair though, we can pretty much just get on the train whenever we want. Yeah. They're fairly easy going on the Euro Tunnel. Yeah, yeah, as you long can just as go a bit space. later, can't yeah. we? So yeah, we're yeah, not in yeah. no particular rush. But yeah, yeah this wouldn't be allowed back in the UK. Look at this Ferris wheel. This is a bit dodge. Yeah, like, it's really low, yeah, isn't it? really dodge. But best staff member uh, we've no, seen on it. We just asked her how old the ride is and she was like, Two years, I two think, years. I think we need to add oh, some like, noughts on for the I end of that. I don't think this is two years old. <laughs> 200, yeah. 200. <laughs> Look at this, I think it's rusty. Look at this, oh my God. I feel like it's gonna come flying off. But yeah, this would not be allowed back in the UK. End of, like this ride would not be operated. It's too low, there's no restraint, there's nothing. Let's see if we can get a, have a little wave, shall we? She's in there. Hello. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> You love it. She's great, really friendly. She's got very good English. Very good English, yeah, she's the, great. The best English speaking staff at Bagatelle. There is actually a lot of Brits in this park. There is today. Yeah, there Trips is. And well, obviously it's fairly inevitable because we're only an hour away from, from the UK. Calais. But yeah. Well, there you go, it's really nice. And we actually had to fasten this ourselves before we. Uh, dispatched on this ferris wheel and look at that i don't know if they own all that land but if so there's plenty of room for expansion that's the airfield over there oh there you go yep. we've seen a lot of planes taking off and things haven't we but uh, there you go um, what a nice place a to stop there's a swan deserted down there <laughs> a lonely swan oh it's washed up on dry land <laughs> Another ride for us, a nice uh, petrol car, these aren't they? We've got them at what, Europa Park? Break! Oh! <laughs> yeah, Europa Park's got these, there's a few about. Yeah, I went on the one at Europa Park actually. But apparently, I don't think this French guy actually knows that he... Uh, he had to give me a lesson of how to drive. <laughs> yeah. He was like, this is accelerator, this is brake. I was like, you understand? He was like, yeah, I think I understand that. <laughs> Oh um, my god, hey, oh, we've got some feeling around here. I do drive myself. <laughs> hey. Quite a long layout by the looks of it, right? Yeah, that's quite good. 
I love Autopia at the Disney parks. It is one of my favourites. I'm glad we've managed to get on this today. I was really worried earlier. I didn't think we'd get on much at all with the queues, but we've done well. Stonehenge over there. A huge layout, isn't it? Martin's happy. He's taking me for a ride. Martin, the taxi driver. Oh my God, look at this. He gave me a ride earlier on and now he's giving me another one. Airtime. Yeah, oh, look at this. Oh. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. Oh. Hey. That was amazing. Keep those, hey. hands, keep those hands on the wheel. Keep those hands Sorry. on the wheel. Dangerous. Perimeter road there. That's it. Dangerous. That's a lesson to all. There's the rappers. There's Hafferman. Sounds like my uh, like grandma's name, doesn't it? Grandma Hafferner. Going round doing me chutney. That's it. Here we go, building up some speed now. Give me some speed. It's a long layout, this. It's good. It's good. <laughs> What's going on here in the back? The boots opening, Martin. The boots opening. So it is. Back past Stonehenge. So it is. Where are you taking me? You get your money's worth for this one. I certainly do. Even though it's We've included had our in our today. We have. Tickets that I got from a dodgy website only Another cost one. us 18 euros. I ain't gonna tell you the name of the dodgy website in case it gets shut down again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like the last one. Yeah. It's a shame because a lot of these websites pop up for these European parks. We'll do really good cheap tickets, and then they uh, tend to close down. <laughs> so make the most of them whilst you can. We had 18 euros we paid online, not bad. But did he say it was 18 euros anyway to come in if you book it a certain amount of days in advance? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you book it seven days in advance, at least seven days in advance, and it's 18 euros anyway from the official Bag of Tail website. Well worth doing. There you go. Nearly four minutes that ride was. So it's six o'clock here at Bagatel, and in true tradition of this park, the console does here, or the operator's panel as you might call it, is all bagged up for the night here at Bagatel. Let's head to the gift shop and have a look at some merch. And hopefully, they'll put it in some bags. I tell you what, Martin, if you decide to buy a t-shirt, I really hope it's not too baggy. Because you're going in the baggy store where I assume all the clothes are baggy, are they? I don't know. They might be. You never know. But yeah, I just don't want your t-shirts to be baggy, you see. <laughs> just check it if you're going to buy one. Up try, on the right side. Yeah, try it on first. Oh, a bit of music playing as we go into the gift shop. I love it. I can just see a lot of generic stuff though here. I want some park branded stuff. Let's have a look. So this seems to be the park mascot just here. And uh, yeah, you've got like a mug just here, seven euros ninety. It's a bit uh, like kiddified that, isn't it? I think this is like the kids section. Don't there's like a generic mouse sort of merch section. It's a bit small. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's about face paint. If you want to do your face up, more yeah, generic magnet. stuff. Magnets, four it's pound ninety. Well, four that's euros a bit ninety. Expensive for a magnet. Isn't yeah, it? it is. That's pricey. That. God, they're making the money. Yeah, this is the mascot down here as well that you can see, the big orange jester, which is also on the logo. Oh, there's like all the girls stuff here as well, look. All the pink ones, all the, like the fairies on, or whatever they are. Here we are. Yeah, that's the mascot of the park. There you are, Martin, do you want to get that? Take it in the car home. 1690. Say hello to the viewers of Theme Park Worldwide. Thank you for watching my vlog from Bagatel. There you go. Wow, you've got a good voice. You know what? He's been purchased, you know. You're not. Yeah, I'm buying the Bagatel. Are you winding me up? Are you winding the viewers up? Here? I am not winding you up. I'm buying. <laughs> You're buying it. Oh. <laughs> Friends. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I love it. Well, there's a few mugs. I can confirm. I'm not, I ain't going to be purchasing anything, I don't think. I wanted something with just the normal logo on, but there you are. Seven ninety. Nice, you know. But uh, it's got some powder in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll pass on that. But uh, we'll head outside and wrap up our day. Yeah, bag of towel. I hope they put that in a bag. Another for purchase. You. What? I'm buying my another bag, mate. I'm going crazy at bag of towel. Are you actually? I actually am, mate. He's crazy, man. Are you on Are you on Are you on so that brings us to the end of our day here at Bagatel. And you know what, Martin? I'm going to do you a favour. I'm going to drive home in this, this London bus. And it's going to take us to uh, Clapham Junction, number 13, just there. There you go. London to south, <laughs> south of France, Dover, Paris. But so yeah, on a serious note, that brings us to the end of the day. And Martin wasn't joking. He just bought this stuff here in a bag. But I've got something to say, right? This part. It's not branded. It's called Bagatel. Why is the bag not branded? <laughs> it's shocking, isn't it? I this, and I brought a mug. Let's have a look. As well. I brought more merchandise than Sean Sandberg today. What, what did I buy? Nothing. Nothing. I got some maps. Squit. Diddly Squit. And, we're, and the part match were free, so... Yeah, I got some part so Sean didn't buy anything. But, uh, have you enjoyed this part? He's been a bit of a freeloader today. I paid I for everything for Sean know, today. Yeah, yeah. God, he's what? paid me yeah, back. I'll give you the money back, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to do a run-out. I got my bus. Have you enjoyed the park? <laughs> I have. I've really, really enjoyed my day today. It's uh, it's been lovely. Been, uh, yeah, it has exceeded expectations. Uh, yeah, um, there's no major coaster in the park, but I don't think that matters. It was well, just a fun day. Coma, it was I... a fun day because we haven't done it before. Yeah, That's I think what the, made the it Coma a fun was day. quite a big coaster, really. Like, that is a major coaster, I would say. The big Vacoma. Mm. You know, it's not like. Oh, it's second hand. Yeah, it's not a stand out, <laughs> but it's major. What was the highlight of the park for you, would you say? Uh, my highlight of the day was getting you wet on the bumper boats. I've we never known soaked. Sean to moan so much. Yeah. I got him soaked and he was moaning afterwards. I tell you, <laughs> he don't often moan, but right. if you're moan, I don't getting mind wet. getting soaked, but wet, you know, it's just not, it's been all right the weather today, but it's not been like roasting. But I don't mind getting wet on a rapids or a log flume or something, but a little bumper boats. It's a bumper boat, isn't it? I didn't want to get soaked, but there you go. For me, the highlight of the park has got to be that spectacular illusion show that we watched earlier on. Really nice production, lighting, sound, all the physical effects in it. And the fact that there was only two actors in it, uh, but it was a really good show, very enjoyable. In terms of rides, five enjoyable coasters. Uh, even the Vacoma was quite smooth, one of the best ones I've done. The junior coasters, wooden box, the ride, that was good. I like the park train that took you around to really nice panoramics. And uh, the fact it's got two log flumes as well. Over all friendly staff really nice park layout uh, only one attraction closed and that was the monorail but obviously we had a bonus hour really because we didn't realize it was open until six o'clock and that was attraction shut at six and the park shuts at 6.30. So uh, overall, a fantastic day at Bagatel. Our first ever visit here. It probably won't be the last time you'll see a video from here on the channel. It's not somewhere that I come back every year, but maybe in a few years time, they'll announce a new big ride. Or uh, it gives me good hope for, for Pleasurewood Hills really back in the UK. They seem to really know what they're doing here. They've got the mascots. Everything looks really fresh, painted up nice, friendly staff. Great day at Bagatel. Easy to get here, an hour from the Euro Tunnel. Come and check it out. It's well worth it in my opinion. And that summarizes bag of towel, I think. And now it's time to That means it's time to give those credits <laughs> and make sure if you come in here, bring a bag. See you later.